And a familiar face to the noon show. We love having him. Chef and owner at Fable Restaurant and uh, Fable Diner co-founder. We talked about that last time. Yeah, yeah. So you've heard of car sharing. Today we're talking about... Cow sharing. Cow sharing. Yeah. Explain. So we started a company called meetme.co. Which uh, sounds kind of like a dating site. Which, which ironically is <laughs> on your t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. Just weird, like that. Eh? Boom. We're, we're kind of like the, the tender of the meat world, if yeah. you will. <laughs> Um, so what we do is we crowdfund animals. We have an online platform. Anybody can go online. You purchase shares into an animal. When the animal's fully funded, we purchase the animal from the farmer, and then we butcher it and deliver it to your door. Wow. Okay, yeah, so, so crowdfund animals like cows? Cows. We're, next month, we're getting into pork and chicken. And the great thing about this is that all this meat is grass-fed, grass-finished, pastured animals. They're all super happy animals. It's, it's from very small-scale farms. So we're bridging the gap between consumers that want to make a difference that don't know how to get these really well-raised animals right. and the farms that don't know how to get their animals to market because they're so small scale. Don't you think on, on a bigger picture here there is a big disconnect between what's on the plate and what we understand Absolutely. about how it gets there Absolutely. and we need to be smarter about that. Yeah. I know I do for sure. Okay, so just walk me through. I put 50 bucks into this and okay, then what so happens? Okay, so you like, go on to meetme.co yeah. and then there is a, uh, you can buy a half a share for a household for one to two people, or you can purchase a whole share for one ninety nine, which is a household of two to four people. So for so how much? What, how much percentage bucks? of the cow does a full share get you? It gets you one thirtieth of the cow, which yeah. is fifteen a, pounds of meat. A lot of meat, right? Yeah. It's it, 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 when you, when I'm butchering the cow, you don't think thirty pounds is that much, or fifteen pounds is that much meat. But then when you it's actually right. look at it on its own, it's it would fill this cutting board. Well, you of think meat. about like okay. a burger is like three ounces usually. Yeah. Five ounces. Five ounces. Yeah. Well, depending yeah. on where you go, obviously. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's so, not a lot. So in the share, you get a mixed bag of meat. You get one prime cut, which is between a strip loin, a bone and prime rib, or a tenderloin. Right. And then you get a bunch of grilling steaks, which we have right here mm. is a skirt steak. So you get a skirt steak, a flank steak, um, this or a flat great. iron steak. This is a great idea, Trev. Thank you very much. And then you get, uh, you get ground meat, and then you get stewing meat, uh, short ribs. And then you can, and if you don't know how so to cook So everybody kind of gets an even amount. Like someone's not going, oh, I'm you getting get all the chuck cuts. steak, and that yeah, dude yeah. down the street's getting yeah. New York. No, not at all. Okay. So you, yeah. you get the equal amount of cooking style. So you get prime steaks, you get uh, ground beef, that you get grilling steaks, you get minute steaks. They're really, really and tasty. And are we ensured that the animals have had good lives? Absolutely. There's, there's uh, connections right on our website to what farmers we use, what farm they are. The one we're using right now is Empire Valley is our main beef supplier. They have about 300 head of cattle on, on 600 See, acres of me. land. Okay, yeah. math here. Average cow, how much? How many pounds of meat would you get out of an average cow? About 800 pounds. 800 pounds of meat. Yeah, okay. that's with bone and everything else, though. Right. But uh, after after it's all said and done, you're looking at it uh, 30 times 15, whatever that equals. That's, uh, We're broadcasters because yeah, yeah, we don't do math. Yeah. So yeah. meetme.co is where to go. Yeah, that's the yeah. So I'll give you a quick lesson yeah. here on, like, whenever you, whenever people get uh, lesser cuts of meat, they, they always expect them to be... Uh, tougher, but that's not the case. You just have to know how to handle that piece of meat. Hmm. So if you look at any piece of meat, it all has a grain in it, right? If you look at this one, this is a skirt steak. You can very clearly see the way the grain goes. In a flank steak, it's very similar. But this looks almost like you could pull it apart a yeah, little bit. Yeah, so yeah. If, if I were to cut this along the grain, the grain is running like this, right? So if I was to cut it like this, you'd be chewing on dental floss, hmm. making okay. it a very tough steak, and people would say, oh, it's a cheap cut of meat, it's tough to eat. Because you that cut with the grain. Doing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, the, the, you know, people will cook the meat, 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 and then they'll get it and be like, oh, this meat is tough, but it's like, well, you're probably slicing it wrong. Okay. But, so I just want to educate everyone out there on how to slice a piece of meat properly. So you always look for the grain very first, and then when, you guys can see the grain, right? Yeah, like it's yeah. pretty, pretty clear right there. Mm -hmm. you just, it's going this. Uh, wait a second. Yeah, yeah. Is it? It's going this yeah. way. Yeah. You see yeah. how that is right yeah. there. Yeah. So you want to cut against that grain. Hmm. So once you cut, go against the grain. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I'm sure you've heard that before. And, and always, always slice it nice and thin. Oh, this is perfectly done. Yes. So I also brought some of the Fables black pepper jam because yeah. that's always done very, very well. But if you can it. tell. It's already kind of falling apart right here, so that way when right. you chew it, it's not going to be very chewy. Now, the flavor of grass-fed beef is a little bit stronger than you might um, normally normally be used to, so please keep that in mind. But uh, it's uh, it's definitely a little How much, different. Like, what do you mean by just, stronger? It just has a bit of a different flavor. It's, what do you it's, do this with at the restaurant? Do you do it with fries or? Oh, absolutely. We put fries. We have like a bok choy salad and. And the great thing about it is it's actually really um, competitive. We, we, on average, no matter what cut of you're getting, you're paying about 11.50 a pound. Whereas if you were to get a similar raised animal, 
um, through Whole Foods or something, you'd be paying 20 to $40 a pound uh, for the same cut of meat. So um, the, uh, the cost saving is great. It makes it effortless to make a difference in how we're getting our food. So that's, that's basically what we're all about. If I wasn't chewing, I would agree with you. So, <laughs> and, so and it's just delivered right to the home? Yes. And we're, well, working on pick, we're working up on pickup points as well. So we deliver it to a pickup area so that it makes it more convenient for you to go pick it up when you want it. So it's a good to, idea to reinvest in the deep freezer. <laughs> Remember that? In the 70s, everybody the garage, had the deep baby. freeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I, I'm, I'm telling you, you out for, for bread from the 15 freezer. pounds is not that much of meat. I put it in my freezer all the time, and my freezer is full of stuff. So this it's really the, not that We've bad. seen the future today, friend. Yes. You've shown yes, us the way of the definitely. future. <laughs> the modernized butcher shop. Love it. And this is delicious. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. We'll see much. you at your restaurant soon Great. at Fable. Mr. Madriga, don't even 